Are you sure that you've seen the boys preparing something? I'm sure. They, they've gone out together and have still not come back. They're plotting something. Today's my birthday, perhaps? You haven't told us anything about it. Maybe we are preparing a party for you. Don't get your hopes up, Catherine. Why not? Because I think it's not about you. They're planning something else. Have they got a secret? I saw them last night from the window. They were looking for something next to towers. I saw them too. They went out really making a noise. Perhaps they are preparing a party for me. Oh, you're so naive. I saw next tower, it's like the church, they were looking for something. But after that, I couldn't see anything because the moon clouded over and it became very dark. Why don't we ask them? The commissioner is killing me. Because it's a secret and they don't want to tell us, clever. They are hiding something and I don't think it's anything. It could be that Luca is preparing something for me. We're getting boring, Catherine, no chance. I'm sure that they're hiding something important and we have to find out what it is. I don't like going into trouble. Involved. Me neither. I prefer not to find out. I just want to chill out. Hurry up or they'll realise. Chucking a stone will be able to tell by the sound it makes as it drops if the lake is deep. The lake is in deep. They haven't thrown anything in here. You're right. If they had chucked the books in there, then they would float. They're not in there. Perhaps they burnt them instead. That is more logical. If we don't find the books, we'll never be able to understand what happened. And that makes me very, very nervous. Guys, guys, we need to be quick. In the library, there are two bookshelves with gaps in them. At least three of the old books are missing. Someone might have thrown them in the water. We saw something floating, and We'll have to leave quickly, or the guys will realise that something strange is going on. If they find out, they will then, and it could be dangerous. Hey, guys, we found the books. Really? Where were they? At the back of the cemetery. There's nothing else in the lake. Let's go. Have you really found the books? We followed the man from the library. The book told me that he's a professor for Cambridge University. That book, he's, he's very strange. He knows something that he doesn't want to share with us. Something important about the books that have disappeared from the, from the library. The guy went out at midnight thinking that no one would see him. But when I got up to have a pee, I spotted him sneaking out through the back door. He left them in the cemetery so that he got the drug of them later. That's why he hid them! Who is there? Be quiet. It, it, it could just be an animal. A rabbit or a squirrel. Or a snake. A a tiger. It's got to be a cat or a mouse. A branch has moved over there. Quick, chuck a stone at it. Look, guys, it's Whoa. us. Hey, you guys, what a shock you gave us. Someone is following our front cemetery. The man from the library wants to hand over the books. He knows we've got them and wants to get them back. That man surprised us and in the end we couldn't get them out of the cemetery. We hid them in a corner of the wall, behind the rubbish. Behind the rubbish? You're crazy. We have to get them moved to a more secure place. He didn't give me time, we had to run off. He followed us until he managed to throw them off a trail. At first we heard voices and thought it could be them. Them? The man from Malawi is not alone in this matter. We've got to get the books from there and put them in a secure place. You're mad. I've never seen anyone write their own birthday cards before. I like to stick my birthday card in an album. Listen, dear, I'm sorry. As you didn't tell us anything, we didn't know. Are you thinking you'll make your own birthday cake too? I like chocolate. Don't be stupid. Listen to me. I have a plan. I've heard the boys saying they're going to the cemetery this afternoon. You know everything, what a gossip you are. Well, I'm going to Help me out. I don't like grace and dead people give me the shivers. We ought to prepare a party of something for Catherine. I think there's just a misunderstood love story here that I would love to untangle. We are, cut, we are going to today and the school will be out. If you don't want to come, don't come then. We're such cowards. Lucas the one that's a coward. He's hooked on a girl and hasn't had the guts to tell her. A coward, Luca? Catherine has many choice of men, but she's crazy for Luca, and he doesn't even realise. He's somebody that would never forget his girl's birthday. She's a dreamer, and she doesn't deserve him. That's true. Where a birthday you are having a stand in the Sentinel? How boring. Luckily, we can see the home cemetery from here. How are you getting on with Luca? Did you broken up, no? I run to him along WhatsApp. 
but he hasn't under, uh, answered me. I'm devastated. I don't want to disgrace you, but that guy couldn't care less about you. I think that he, that he's waiting. He was waiting until my birthday to give me a surprise. Quiet! Do you see? They're behind the trees. I'm not gonna miss this. You wait here. Whose idea was it to hide the books behind the rubbish? Oh, listen to the red one. I left them where I could. Oh, be quiet, you idiot. Now's not the time to argue. I see him over there. They have seen us. I'm not surprised. You want to hide a beautiful backside of yours. And you need to sell your mask. You want a and be quiet if you want air underwater. Silence, you have to be forward. Can't see anything from here. Come on. It's incredible. Let me see. Look at this other one, it's so old. It's really old. Wait a minute, what do you have too? It's a loose sheet in the book that is rewritten in pencil. It's a parchment, much older than the book. It's a letter. What does he say? Catherine, in spite of my silence, I've never stopped loving you. You're always on my mind, in my soul, in my dreams. Catherine. Oh my god, how wonderful. Catherine was right. Luke was preparing something super special for her. What a strange but happy coincidence. Oh, come on, Luca, tell her. Now or never. Oh my god, Catherine, I love you. I haven't stopped thinking about you all the time either. Oh my god, at last. I always loved you, but it was too late to go back. Through the course of my life I have had other wives, always looking to find the intensity with which I had loved you. But with each one it was in vain. Politics is unforgiven, but perhaps you, Catherine, may be able to forgive me one day. Signed Henry VIII, King of England. The same letter for centuries apart, all for the same purpose, to say I love you. Certain things never change. <laughs>